philosophy is always spoken about the reality of sorrow. Is sorrow real or unreal? Have you seen people who have like severe health issue, feeling very depressed, very normal? Have you also seen people who are almost at the same level of health issue, but quite cheerful? Have you seen extremely poor people who maybe just you know, just enough to eat for that day? And if you ask them, do you have any account, any money? They don't have. Feeling very miserable and negative. Have you also seen the same kind of situation? There's no money. They just have to work for that day in order to go by the day, but feeling looking very cheerful and happy. Have you seen that? Have you seen extremely rich people who are very sad and angry? And also the same thing, a very rich person, also cheerful, you have seen. So you see, the thing is, what is reality? The reality of sorrow seems to be not real. Correct. It's how we perceive. Sometimes we have people who come for, for this uh, treatment therapy. Some have given up. Maybe the illness is not so much, but I have given up. But some given a, given like a death sentence. Suppose that you are, you are going to die in three months and then very cheerful. How is it? Or not having any sickness, not, not going to die, but very like death-like, like almost die already, no feeling. So sorrow is very much a kind of a perception. So this, this word in Sanskrit, in this particular sutra, you will see the word Jodhi. This is the main component of sadhana. To reach Jodhi, light. Darkness cannot stand a chance when light comes in. This whole room was, if dark, you bring one candle inside, it is bright, isn't it? It's brightened. So like that, a room full of persons who are very sorrowful or feeling very rejected or dejected, one person comes, hey, good morning! <laughs> so everybody is like, wake up. Have you had, have you seen these kind of individuals in your life? Maybe one of your uncles, in those days we had many of them like that. You know, some of our uncles, very cheerful, oh, you know, you understand? So very happy nowadays, oh. you know? <laughs> So, it could be also maybe related to, maybe related to work, tired, and all that, all excuses cannot accept. None of this is acceptable. This Jodi, this state of light-heartedness, happiness is untainted, unconditional. There is no conditions that can be created as an excuse not to feel this. If this person who, has, who was given a life, a death sentence by nature can still be happy and cheerful, I think there is nothing else to compare right now. At this moment. So all of us have just everything good in our lives. We have our two legs, two hands, all thin fingers there. Nothing to complain. You are too dark, too bright, no hair, got hair, too thin, too... nothing, big stomach, no stomach, nothing to compare. Right now, there is there's no issue with what you have or don't have in order not to bring Jodhi into your life. In fact, what is the best medicine right now? Everybody is saying the best medicine in your life that no medicine can ever manufacture right now which can, which can generate almost an instantaneous healing in your body and your mind right now. If you can be joyful and you can train yourself to be joyful within three months, every day, joy every day. Just work on this. In three months, almost all the diseases of the physical, mental, emotional and spiritual can disappear in your life. This is the assurances given by 
those who are calling themselves scientists. Even scientists have this kind of belief because this is what this this is what is proven beyond doubt. In 1970 something, there was one uh, medical uh, right uh, data which shows that this one guy went to went to his doctor in the 70s or 60s, he said that I read in the newspaper there is this medicine, this new drug which can heal me. He had almost 20 or 30 tumors. He was supposed to die. So he went to the hospital, went to the doctor and he said that give me this drug. I read in the newspaper. The doctor turned to his colleague and said no choice now. We just, we just tell him this is the drug because he's going to die anyway. Let him die in peace. So they took some medicine, not related to that drug, gave it to him, gave it to him, and he said, oh, thank you. He took the drug two weeks later, he came back, tumors all disappeared. <laughs> and then the, the doctors turned around and said, oh, fantastic, but we didn't give you the drugs. We just gave you some other medicine. Two weeks later, he died. So one of the ways to remember to be joyful is very difficult to do. Remember this, huh? Yes, and I, I know that. <laughs> Remember to do this. Soft one. If, if this is my objective, is to bring light into my life, and we know that bringing light into our lives is the best medicine, not only to, to beat the distress or the ailments in the physical body, but also the emotional, to mend all relationship, to dissolve all crises and challenges in our life, you can experiment on this. I can assure you, in three months, if we start right now and you make a resolution as Sankalpa that I'm going to smile all the time, even when you're sleeping, <laughs> wake up in the morning, smile, practicing yoga, smile, teaching yoga, smile, Doing work, cooking, chores, traffic jam, everything and anything, all the time. If you can maintain a soft smile and then remember to be joyful, every challenge, situation, difficulty, circumstances can dissolve in three months. I can assure you this. Many beautiful opportunities would come into your life. As you start to think, what you behave, what you feel, what you entertain in your day, throughout the day, from morning, what you entertain, that I'm getting better, my life is becoming more joyful, more light is entering my life, more clarity, more cheerfulness, everything is seen in the light, even people around you are dying and suffering, you go and assure them that there is goodness in everything that you speak to them in a positive way, in a cheerful way, though they are depressed, but you don't have to entertain the depression, you can be cheerful. Cheerful, isn't it? Isn't that the medicine? Isn't that the antidote? Even if someone is in ICU or dying, you can go and tell, I will pray for you. I will pray for joy, peace and harmony in your life right now. So isn't that me being cheerful? That I am not, I'm not bringing that into me, but I am bringing the light into that. If we can remember to do this all the time, right from the time we get up, until the time we sleep and then throughout sleep you feel that cheerfulness and lightness and come up. Namaskar.